You keep coming back, and I don't know why. This is Monkey Toss TV's Biff Bang Pow. In movie news, Robert Downey Jr. will not have cameos in Thor or Captain America. Also, neither will Terrence Howard. I hope Wesley Snipes will. Black Panther. So DC Comics is reintegrating Swamp Thing back into the DC Universe because DC, quote, did not have enough books nobody reads. <laughs> The new Captain America costume was unveiled on the internet, and we actually have an exclusive sneak peek screenshot. Wow. Can I put that up there? Oh, wow, look at that. That's, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's accurate. He's got a very gentle face. I love his smile. He's got he's like got the soul of a super soldier, but also the soul of a gentle giant. This is going to be the most adorable Marvel movie since Blade Two. Um, the first image from Frank Miller's 300 prequel, Xerxes, has hit the web, and it looks badass. There's no joke here. It's, it's going to be awesome. Speaking of jokes, Joe Quesada has been promoted to Chief Creative Officer of Marvel in order to ruin Marvel Comics more efficiently. Good for him. Good luck to Joe Quesada. Yesterday, DC announced that Cameron Stewart was not drawing The Return of Bruce Wayne number 4. When asked about the matter, sources at DC said he was too talented to work on a DC comic. Speaking of too talented... Let's I... throw it over to us. Two talented dudes. Great smiles. Uh, who, st who starts this off? We, there's no Jamie. You just start rambling until okay. it makes sense. Um, we're all Jamie in a way. So, comics. This week's books were uh, paused because of the holiday, so I haven't read any of these, so let's talk about the covers. Hey, look, Avengers Origin. I love this cover. Phil Noto art is great. Yeah. I'm sexually attracted to Phil Noto art. I'm sexually attracted to Ant-Man. Speaking of being sexually attracted, Serenity. What am oh. I? Yeah. Wash. Wash. Written by Patton Oswalt. Ah, that's been it's hilarious. This is gonna be great. I hope I'll cry. Hey, look, Batman Beyond. That's the first appearance in DC Comics officially, or something. Uh, what? He's so ripped. Good cartoon, I guess. Good cartoon. I like the Justice League episode. Me too. That's the only one I'll vouch for. Frankencastle. Uh, vouching for this book. The child has no longer punished her. It's Frankencastle, the greatest pun. It's the best book since great puns. It's awesome. It's better than Watchmen. Yeah, you don't understand. You know what's not better than Watchmen? <laughs> I like this. Right now, it's an alternate feature tale featuring Nazis. They just killed Batman. Sweet. He had a beard. Awesome. Batman with a beard? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Hey, you like Green Arrow and Black Canary? Oh, I'm sorry. Hawkeye and Mockingbird or whatever? It's the same. He's just purple. Sort of purple green. arrow and uh, blonde Bird lady. punchy lady. Stupid. Comics are pretty similar to each other, so. I'm going to go over there and talk about more stuff. These transitions aren't good now that Jamie's not here. Who's Jamie? He's dead. <laughs> Cut! Danny, where's the next segment? Hello. I didn't see you there. Um, this week in books, uh, Robert Kirkman, writer Spotlight. You may know him from Invincible. It's a good book. It's very violent, but it's very good. Um, he also does Wolfman. That's a good book. It's also very violent, with cartoony covers and art that makes you feel scared when blood comes out. Uh, it's being canceled, so don't get into it. You should, but don't get attached. He did an Ant-Man series creating the latest Ant-Man, who is a pervert and a criminal. And I get that. Uh, Marvel Zombies was written by Kirkman. The only Marvel Zombies you need to read, because everything else is toilet-based. He co-created Haunt with uh, our boy Todd McFarlane. Uh, I don't like it. I like Todd McFarlane, so he's no longer my boy. Goodbye. He also did Brit, which is an interesting kind of spy superhero book. It's very violent. Do you get a trend yet? No? He's a bad man. He's a good man. He just kills a lot of people. Oh, Walking Dead. Oops, he did Walking Dead. That's super important. We're not very good this week. I'm sorry. Let's throw it over to whatever I'm going to talk about. Why are we so off this week? I don't know. Like, comics were late. I'm... Who cares? Um, our pick... This week? No, Whatever, just that. pick up the next thing you can... Um, oh. I found this. What well, is that? I found this while you were shooting the other thing. Um, it's Essential Fantastic Four. It's the first 20 issues of Fantastic Four and the first annual. It is in black and white. It's not even in color. But yeah, I mean, you don't need color. Like, the line art's pretty good. Yeah, I would um, just color it myself. Um, Here's, buy this, this book, get some crayons, get to work. This copy is discounted, and I'm going to buy it, so you can't buy this copy Damn it. here at Southern California Comics, but they have other copies. Well, don't promote... Are you sure? Yeah. Who cares? They have two other copies, I oh. think, so get them as they are going fast. Well, I'm probably going to steal Now that I have promoted it. Okay. So, goodbye. Goodbye from Monkey Toss TV's Biff Bang Pow. Maybe we'll be better next week if Jamie's here. No, he's dead. Ever read Hills Like White Elephants? 
know. But I mean, it's, this is kind of like that when I'm talking about the real issue at hand. Is that our baby? <laughs> it's not your baby. Well, I found that it's gotta be mine, right? <laughs>